our JFL concession stand has the most candy of any concession stand in the area. I might have to test it. <laughs> Looks like Carlin Bone will have it on offense first in our sixth grade game. We'll get ready to start here in just a couple of minutes. All right. Should have hit him. Getting the carry landed Albrecht for Carlinville. We'll be announcing our sixth grade game here in the first half, our fifth grade game in the second half. Riley Smith carries it to the far sideline. It's brought Slowed down as he gets <laughs> close to the 30. <laughs> Spotted officially about the 32-yard line. Actually, we had a penalty on the play, so they'll walk off that yardage. It's like a five-yard walk off back to the 37. To bring up second down, seven yards to go.
And North Mac will also get the two-point conversion. For North Mac, that was Cameron Bueller with the two point conversion. We go, Cam. Carnival back on offense now in the sixth grade game. Landon Albrecht going to be wrapped up. Number 22, Caden Gunn, it looked like on that stop. They'll bring up second down, 10 yards to go. Screen pass complete to Kirk Cameron. We'll pick up about five yards. It'll bring up third down and five from the 35 yard line. Hand off that time to Grant Hobbit. And getting in there for North Mac to make the stop was Tayshawn Gauss. Boss will be back to the 39 to bring up fourth down and nine. That's awesome. I literally was like, Bueller for the Panthers. 
As he will get the touchdown on about the <laughs> In our fifth grade game, the conversion was no good, but Carlinville has taken a 6 nothing lead in the fifth grade game. Kana had the best selection that I've seen. Kana. Oh, Sixth grade game, the conversion pass is incomplete, so the conversion is no good. But North Mac now with a 14 to nothing lead in our sixth grade game. Again, Carlinville leads in our fifth grade game following that touchdown, six to nothing. Look who come to this side. I know, well, you know, we're here to support the murder. <laughs> He's out there number four. He's on the field right now. Four? Yep. Right here on this side. I mean, you're on the winning side, Jen. <laughs> right now, are we? Oh, of course. Banana right now, for the whole game. Nothing. We're undefeated. Come on. I heard that. I heard that. <laughs> Cavaliers back on offense following the North Mac scores. Landon Albrecht gets the carry and he tries to fight his way forward for a yard. We'll pick up just a short gain on the play. Second down and nine yards to go coming up. <laughs> Riley Smith's pass incomplete was intended for J.P. Whitlock. A good rush that time by North Mac. And it's going to bring up third down and ten for the sixth grade Cavies. <laughs> I'm going to take a picture. The pass complete to J.P. Whitlock. And he takes it all the way down inside the 10 to the 5. A gain of about 35 yards on that pass play from Smith to Whitlock. It'll set up a first and goal to go for the Cavaliers. <laughs> get him, get him, get him. Riley Smith can be knocked up for a major loss as three North Mac Panthers got in there. Carter Van Hess. Also with assistance from Walker Lancaster. And the loss is back to the 11 yard line. It'll bring up second down, goal to go. And he got it last night. Smith's pass incomplete. Tended receiver was Colton Jackson. That's going to bring up third down and goal to go from the 11. I don't like the orange ones because they. I don't like the orange ones because they remind me of like being on a cap around. Now with the same taste, I think it's fine. All the caps are probably. 
Landon Albrecht takes the handoff and will pick up a couple of yards on the play, but it is going to bring up fourth down and goal. The ball on about the eight yard line. We have an injury timeout. We have an injury timeout on the field. Fourth down and goal from the eight for the sixth graders. Get the number. 
That's number 44. That's Carter Van Huss with the touchdown. For the two-point conversion. <laughs> so, the two -point conversion. You got it right, so they got in previously. Van Huss gets the two-point conversion, making it 22 to nothing, North Mac. I was saying because it's Oh god, will take over first and ten from the forty. But he's still the Well, he's going to take her about to try to Not even 13. <laughs> Cameron Mueller, number 28, was one of the Panthers in there. It'll bring up second down and 10 from the 40. Carville, fifth grade, with a first down at the North Mac 27. Quarterback Riley Smith on the keeper will get back to the line of scrimmage. That's number 12 Walker Lancaster there to make the stop. No. <laughs> Come on, I can oh, oh, will take it all the way down. <laughs> Brent Hobbin on the pass from Riley Smith, and he takes it all the way down, made a nice move at about the 10, takes it all the way down to the one yard line where it's first and goal to go. That's Landon Albrecht with the touchdown. Landon Albrecht with the one yard run following the big pass play to Grant Hammond. Fifth grade at the 25 yard line. The sixth grade lines up for the two point conversion. Can you bring some back, right? Riley Smith's pass incomplete, intended for Grant Hobbit. So the conversion fails, but your score now North Mac 22, Carlinville 6. Following the Carlinville touchdown, North Mac will take over first and ten from the 40 as we approach seven minutes remaining 
in the first half. Touchdown. We approach two minutes 
time on the field, or time being kept on the field in the fifth grade game, the clock for the sixth grade game. Go Cam! Go Cam! On the carry for North Mac was Cameron Mueller. Chase Ronald just come up with an interception for the fifth grade Cavies. Carnival will take over in the fifth grade game following that interception by Jace Ronald. That's enough. You really don't need to talk about that, sir. Ball is back to the 40 yard line. He'll bring up second down and 10. As we are inside one minute now in our sixth grade game. Again, time being kept on the field in our fifth grade game. Seriously, coach, we're winning 22 12. Shut up. North Mac will use their first timeout. Again, each team gets two timeouts in the final two minutes of each half. That is the only thing that stops the clock. It does not stop for an incomplete pass. It does not stop for out of bounds. There are 30 seconds remaining in the half in our sixth grade game. Again, time being kept on the field by our officials in the fifth grade game. Carnival has a first and ten at the North Mac 25. No, he's gone. Come back. Thanks, buddy. No, when the fifth grade coach got in back, he's out for
the Raiders will line up for the two-point conversion. Colt Rosentrader tried to get outside that time, but Northback with good pursuit as they stopped the play. So the two-point conversion is no good, but your score now in our fifth grade game is Carlinville 12, Northback 0. Heads up, heads up. Oh, that was our guy. Yeah, I know. So it's pink gloves. No gloves in your head. Walker, you gotta use the glove. Big stop by Carlinville that time in the backfield. Let's stop him, North Man! I believe that was Jacob Duggar who made the stop. Get him, get him, get him! Get him, Carter! Get him, Carter! <laughs> Carter's waiting. Somebody also get him before he comes to me. Riley Smith just picked up a first down for the Carnival sixth graders. Northback facing second and ten. Get him, get him right there. Braylon Gibbs on the carry for North Mac will pick up positive yardage down to the 35. It'll bring up third down, five yards to go for the Panthers.
down. Carlinville will have the ball, first and ten from the 40. Big run by Tanner Suits. <laughs> Finally driven out of bounds by number four for North Mountain, Jeff Fenton. But Tanner Suits, the quarterback, will pick up 20 yards and a first down for the Cavaliers. Wow. Back at the 22. <laughs> 
Quite a home. was Jensen Rabida. As Jet Fitton got the carry, he's close to a first down. It looks like a yard shot. Left down in the yard. Coming up for the Panthers. Fourth and one. Take it to the yard. Take it Getting the carry for North Bank was Jet Fenton. And he will have a first and goal as he gets it to the nine-yard line. Carlinville leading 12-6, but North Bank is knocking on the door. Come on, good grade, Scooby. What's up, dude? Whoa! I feel that jelly. 
Cavaliers make the stop at the line of scrimmage. Jacob Duggar and Jensen Rabinup in on the stop. No gain on the play. Second down, goal to go. Go, 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 go. Were there any more goals at, at your game after we left? No. Nope. Pass play is broken up. I believe that was Jensen Rabideau who was able to get in and break up that play. <laughs> Many on their bench, do the they? <laughs> oh, get in there! Come on, you can do it! There you go! The pass falls incomplete. 
will bring up second down, 10 yards to go. Watch out, The pass is intercepted. 
That was Henry Flanix with the interception for Bowlesville. Thank you. 